the lower slopes of the Andes in Peru. The poor farmers, or campesinos, have always been isolated from markets, and just as importantly, from information that could help them boost harvests. Now, production from these small plots of land is increasing because a group of farmers is spreading practical know-how. There are two million smallholders in the Peruvian Andes, barely scratching a living. Almost half of those in extreme poverty live in the rural highlands. Carlos Paredes decided to create a community NGO, Sierra Productiva, to encourage campesinos to share information about how to boost harvests from their small plots. We aim to achieve high productivity in small land holdings by learning from technologies applied in other parts of the world and adapting them to our reality. Sierra Productiva's solution was simplicity itself. At its research center, it developed and adapted 18 basic technologies. According to Paredes, sharing these tried and tested technologies is revolutionizing the cultivation of these high slopes. One of the first farmers to learn how to implement these technologies was Gregorio Huaracha. He is now a yachichik, or teacher, and his small land holding is a showcase for making the most of the techniques promoted by Sierra Productiva. This was an abandoned field before, and now we plant it with nutritious grasses. Sierra Productiva's know-how puts a premium on caring for the environment. Crop rotation and natural pesticides avoid the need for chemicals. This we call biol, and we add eucalyptus and herbs to use it as a pesticide. Here I have cabbage and carrots. There are my beans. I always practice crop rotation. Diversification and choosing the right food and animal feed crops are simple practices with a big return, at least by Andean standards. With the father, now I have guinea pigs. They are hungry. I can also have chickens. This coop is for 15. And of course, I have fodder for my cows now. Gregorio Huaracha was a guinea pig of another kind, one of the first Yachachik teachers. Sierra Productiva claims that its program has been so successful that from an initial 20 teachers like Huaracha, there are now 2,700 in the Peruvian Andes. Gregorio's neighbor, Epifanio Waman, opted to specialize in reforestation. His tree nursery now provides hardy saplings that help recreate the highland vegetation that's fixing the soil and providing shelter for crops. Reforestation is vital for our production. For example, thanks to the trees, I have shelter to grow my cauliflowers. Waman's daughter, Judith, also joined Sierra Productiva by applying for finance and attending workshops on their 18 technologies. She installed a cold storage device made out of a wooden box that with the cool mountain air and a bit of water helps to preserve perishable foods. Before, my milk went bad very quickly and now it remains fresh for a few days. I also keep my greens. I also installed an improved cooking stove that does not smoke out my kitchen, so my children are much better, because they no longer suffer from coughs and I use far less wood to cook. Knowledge from Sierra Productiva helped her to solve another problem too. She has little land, but by growing grass using hydroponics, a closed water system, she now has fodder for her guinea pigs. Here, not a pet, but a major source of protein. And now, with a simple solar stove, she's planning for the future. My dream and that of my colleagues is to open a restaurant with local foods that we are producing here. In a nearby community, Alodia Lazo is a prime example of how Sierra Productiva's techniques are improving lives. Two years ago, Alodia made the humblest of livings milking other people's cows. Before we had nothing. We had no money, our work was badly paid. I earned one dollar a day, a man one dollar fifty. That was it. Then she learned how to add value to her milk by making dairy products and sweets. 
She now makes 300 litres of yoghurt a day, a very impressive array of exotic jams of her own concoction and hot pepper conserves that are a big hit with her customers. When I sell my products, I feel proud. Now I have money to buy what I need. The former milkmaid who was lucky to earn one US dollar a day is now a Highland entrepreneur with big plans for the future. This is the new house I am building. This is for internet. This is my area for production of dairy products. Here I am going to have rooms for tourists. I will have a cafe and guest rooms. With no grid, supplying energy is the big challenge for Sierra Productiva. But many of the 18 technologies work around the lack of electricity. In this home, hot showers and the stove are both solar powered. Biogas, created from plant waste, supplements the solar power. In terms of bringing power to these communities, our dream is that all energy sources in our homes will be renewable. Water is plentiful, but the challenge is how to channel it through difficult terrain. We won't need any fancy equipment here. Guinea pig farmer Benigno Torres is also an irrigation yachichik. He uses a simple form of measurement to plan the network of water channels that ensure a constant supply to the small holdings. The incline, the area and the distance. We calculate how many tubes we need. Then we go to a computer and we work out what we need to get water for each family. But back to those guinea pigs, a native Andean rodent. Benigno is looking to expand his business using novel marketing techniques, including a guinea pig wedding. Sierra Productiva encourages all of its members to draw up a business strategy and plan their future investments. And it claims over 225,000 people have benefited from its down-to-earth technologies. Initial funding came from private donors and NGOs, but its blueprint has now attracted the attention of the authorities. 10 of the 25 regional authorities in Peru have already decided to make Sierra Productiva's technologies their chosen investment to improve the lives of all of their communities. And how can winning World Challenge help them further? We would create a revolving solidarity fund to help new families to join and implement at least 10 of our technologies and improve their lives. This time on World Challenge, each finalist has a chance to appeal directly for your vote. Voten por Sierra Productiva porque es un proyecto integral como lo ven. Vota por Sierra Productiva porque me cambió la vida y pronto voy a abrir un restaurante innovador. Vota por Sierra Productiva. El riego para aspersión es el motor del cambio emprendedor. Vota por Sierra Productiva. Creando valor agregado que en la ganancia queda con nosotros. Vota por Sierra Productiva, el futuro de nuestros pueblos.